Alrighty, this is another match, me versus my friend at that uh, same game store. This was the same day, but we just switched up our decks, or at least I switched up my deck. It is a really rough start for me playing the Black War Greymon versus the Imperial Dramon. So I play out my level 4 for 5. Turn 1, it is already not looking good for your boy. He has a level 4 in his raising and a level 3 on the field. Grabs the Imperial Dramon. Plays out two Searcher Vmons. So he could just stack his hand with whatever the heck he needs to look for, and it's looking good for him. But I do manage to get to the Metal Greymon. Swing, pop a Vmon, but the Metal Greymon dies to security, which is pretty unfortunate, and now I don't really have another play except play out another Greymon because I had no rookies in my opening hand. Swings for security with jamming, survives, Stingmon, Joe Gress, you know the deal because Imperial Dramon is, it's insane how consistent it is and it's weird how Stingmon is in the opening hand every single time. Swings for security two more times, nothing in security, well there's the rookie I was looking for, plays out the Imperial Dramon, poops out the two level fours and now I am choked, I literally have nothing, there is just absolutely zero I can do except play out another Greymon and pray I somehow survive. There goes one, there goes two, and that is the fastest game one you have ever seen, probably. Going into game two, though, I am gonna have the same exact problem. Take a look at this. Baby. Nothing. <laughs> Just play that out. Uh, he did lead with the Davis and Ken. But, uh, you know, that doesn't really help him. He doesn't push up that Vmon. He plays another Vmon. He digivolves for two. And, well, now it's back to me. I find the, uh, find the Agumon swinging with the Metal Greymon to pop the Vmon. Hit of another Vmon in security, and we find a Marcus. He pushes up, gains two memory off of the, uh, Davis and Ken. Plays out a Stingmon. And then he can Jogress into the Pyildramon. Uh, he can't bottom the Metal Greymon, but he can definitely swing into it, though. Or is that the Dino B? I think it's the Dino B, but he swings into it. I lose the Metal Greymon. Can't exactly, uh, you know, be sad about that. And then he pulls out the Ola Force Vidramon, the one of the spicy tech in the deck. Uh, sets me to three, and then I just play red tie because I have nothing else and I don't really want to push up my Agumon and try to swing get one memory because that really would not do anything for me so swings for security with the all force Vidramon restands gains a memory from the classic Vmon re swings again there goes another Agumon and it is really not looking good for me so uh, Black World Greymon is a deck that I really like, and even though, you know, it's like just the new flavor of Agumon Tribal, and I'm probably not playing it, you know, at its peak, I have a lot of fun playing it. Uh, he goes up to the Magnamon in the, uh, raising area, and now it's just what can he play out to, you know, try to choke me the best. He just plays out a Vmon. Sets me to three because I'm going to get set anyway. And now we can start doing stuff because you see I drew that level four Greymon right there. Well, not that I can really do much of anything, but I will dark Gaia Force. Now that I have the black source and the red tamers, I can uh, dark Gaia Force both of the uh, Digimon because the old force Vidramon was a 12 cost and then the Vmon was a three cost. So it adds up, pushes up the Magnamon. And, well, now he has a lot of memory to work with, and once again, it's just not looking for you bo looking good for your boy. He plays out the Lydramon. He's gonna Jogress into the uh, Dino Beamon, tap down the Greymon. That's the first time you uh, see two Dino Bees and not two Pyildramons, but he swings into the uh, Greymon anyway, takes it out. Plays out the Davis. I am going to get set, and I have nothing on board, so it is real struggle hours for your boy. Knowing he's just going to get up to five memory right now. You know, it's rough. Play out the Agumon. Can't really do much else, and that kind of thing happens all the time. You can see the classic Agumon in my hand, and I had to use the on-play effect Agumon on the field. I play out the uh, Metal Greymon just to have a body down, hopefully be able to get something going. 
but uh, you know, we just give them a shitload of memory, and there's not too much we can do here. But yeah, that happens all the time where, you know, you do your no inheritable rookie on the, uh, on the baby, and then you draw the rookie with the inheritable that you needed, and it's like, well, you would have been nice a while ago. Uh, but he did not have the Imperial Dramon in his hand until he played out that, uh, blue memory boost. Now he, uh, you know, digivolves, restands it, regains memory because it restands from the classic Vmon, so it is still his turn, and it's at this point that he can, you know, attack with the Imperial Dramon, a Joe Gress. There it goes, I get another Marcus, not that it does anything. Magnamon has blocker. Goes into the Blitz Omni, of all things. And now, well, GG, easy, no re. Another quick 2-0 in the Imperial Dramon player's favor, because, let's be real, there's nothing I can do here. Push up the Agumon. What am I thinking of right here? Going to, uh, you know, Blitz... Black War, uh, the regular War Greymon, which is the, you know, other War Greymon that I run. Uh, it does have piercing, though, so it goes through the blocker and hits security. Not that it does really anything, except gave me two memory from the Marcus. Go up into the Greymon, and then Blitz Omni to bounce into his own Blitz Omni, which really would have worked if I had more security in, uh, you know keeping me alive but it didn't so thank you for watching this one it was another quick and easy video i'll be posting some more digimon content while i have a lot on the back burner so look forward to more thank you for watching